Hey guys, welcome to About Ukraine and this video's topic is cars and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about the kind of fuel they use here, namely propane. Uh, a lot of uh, gasoline cars are converted to propane here in Ukraine and that's because in Europe over 85% of the gas stations sell propane. Uh, they have a propane dispenser that is able to uh, fill up cars with it. And in Ukraine that number is even higher, almost every single gas station has propane. So in this video we're gonna tell, tell you a little bit about how like the, the whole system works, how it's pretty safe and it's a pretty clean source of energy. We're going to explain it using this example, the uh, 2001 uh, 325i. And uh, this is a pretty good motor, pretty good uh, starting base, and we're going to get to the bottom of how the system works here in this car. There are two main propane systems. There's uh, something called a second generation, uh, which works with the principle of a carburetor, where uh, gas sort of gets into the system. The fourth generation system is a lot more stable, it's more usable, it's controlled using the ACU. In both cases, there's, uh, there's some modification to the ECU where uh, the ECU has to think that the injectors uh, are still working, but they're not. That's because injectors are turned off and gas is uh, coming in through the, through the port side through a separate system. So let's talk about the second type, the fourth generation system uh, that's uh, set up in this car. So what we have is we have the computer system here, uh, that is the brains essentially, that's uh, basically keeping, keeps uh, the injectors under control. Here we have the, um, the regulator, it sort of mixes in, in uh, the gas, the mixture happens here. And over here you have six uh, injectors that push in the gas into the cylinder. So uh, over here we also have a filter that cleans out the gas, I think it's over here, there's two filters. And we have a temperature sensor which is... Uh, somewhere here as well. We have a temperature sensor to make sure that the gas is, is uh, cold enough, that it's the right temperature when it goes in here. So the main role of the temperature sensor essentially is to ensure that the engine is hot enough for uh, LPG, the propane, can actually go into the engine, right? Because the thing is, uh, propane is very, very cold. It cannot get into the engine uh, by itself. It has to first start using the gasoline engine and then propane kicks in after the temperature reaches, I believe it's about 50 or 60 degrees Celsius, which is about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. For the most part, um, that means that the temperature gauge inside the car has to be a quarter up uh, before um, the actual uh, propane system will kick in and uh, will start uh, driving propane into, into the engine. But it all is done automatically, seamlessly, so you don't even notice. Many people uh, falsely believe that uh, propane is dangerous, that it can, it's an explosion hazard, it can uh, explode and uh, cause a whole lot of problems with your car. But the reality is that's not the case because essentially it's not any more dangerous than a gasoline car. I mean, you do have a line that drives propane into the front of the car and the gas tank is in the back, but the gas tank is extremely pressurized. It's, it's virtually impossible to penetrate it. If a leak does happen, there is a system that will, um, will automatically open up and uh, just drip out the, the, the propane if uh, the propane tank is ruptured. But the, the same thing happens with uh, gasoline, right? To get into an accident, fuel line breaks, gasoline will also come out the same way right and you have the same fire hazard the reason why people do think that propane is uh, dangerous is because they confuse it with methane methane is extremely explosive and it's dangerous but people do confuse it with propane and the propane is really not the same animal now let's talk a little bit about the minuses the disadvantages of uh, of propane and that is, you have to understand that propane burns at a higher octane than gasoline. So it means that uh, there is a mixture that's left over before the ignition occurs. With, uh, with high RPMs, the valves work too fast, the exhaust mixture isn't burnt off uh, before the exhaust valve opens. So that's one disadvantage of driving on propane. So it's better not to rev it up higher than 3000 RPM. I try not to drive hard when I'm driving with uh, propane on. So if I really want to floor it, you know, I got to just turn the, pr the propane off, you know, switch it to gasoline. It's safe to do it on the fly. You can just do it on the fly uh, with no harm to the engine whatsoever. So I just started the car and uh, as you can see, it started with a gasoline engine on. You have this little indicator uh, that shows me how much uh, gas it has. It has about 40, I believe, liters in this tank. And this is means that it has 10 liters left. And 10 liters is about 50 kilometers or like maybe about 40 miles that you're going to get out of it. And um, if you take a look at the trunk, I have this uh, tank, which is, you can see that this is about 52 liters and it should be filled up to about 80%. The way it gets filled up is through this little uh, opening over here. 
and that's about it. The other thing is that you have to understand that you get slightly worse fuel economy. I believe with gasoline, the range is supposed to be 500 miles. With LPG, you're looking at about 300-ish kilometers, which is about like 200 something miles. And basically, yeah, you get you get quite a bit of a reduction in fuel economy. But uh, the real advantage of the, of using propane is really the price. Uh, right now, I believe the price for um, premium uh, gasoline is about a dollar fifty per liter. Propane is 40% cheaper. So basically, what you end up paying for uh, gasoline, 40% uh, of that is what you're going to pay for propane. So it's, it's a no-brainer. It's really, really way cheaper. So another advantage of uh, propane is really it's a lot cleaner. So there's no carbon buildup going on in these engines. Uh, there, it's a lot cleaner. The oil, it doesn't, doesn't get dirty. And um, well, what else can I say? It's just a good system to have. Yeah, it adds a little bit of weight in a trunk, but you know, that's, that's what you get, saving a little bit of money. And in Ukraine, it's an ideal option for everyday driving. For sure, and even in Europe as well. Uh, if, if you're somebody who doesn't like to drive diesel and uh, you're someone who just prefers the sound of gasoline engine, well, it's a good option to have. Okay, guys, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please like and subscribe for more information about Ukraine.